DIY Nate, we're talking about how to de-ice your mini fridge when the freezer has got that huge buildup of ice around it. So it is in the manual, and just like many others, I choose not to read the manual. I like to watch a YouTube video, so that's why I'm making this one. I did actually go consult the manual and figure out what exactly they want you to do to reduce the ice in your freezer. It does say that essentially, you know, that's gonna be an energy efficiency issue and might cause some damage to your refrigerator long-term if you let that ice really build up. So that's why we're de-icing it. I got a pretty healthy amount of ice in there. You can't really use that freezer for anything right now and we're gonna go ahead and make it a little more efficient, so. As a point of reference, mini fridges are great for a lot of things. If you're watching this video, you probably already have one, but if yours has gone out completely, or if you wanna purchase one for your garage, your workshop, your office, or if you're sending a kid off to college, then I've left a link to some mini fridge options in the video description. Okay, so I've got my user manual here, and it is a model number FR320 or an FR322. Either way, it uses the same manual. Just as much as everybody else, I hate reading user manuals. But I will say there are a couple of call outs in here. Tips for energy saving. Excessive ice buildup will increase energy consumption. Defrost the unit when the ice or frost is a quarter inch thick. Way more than a quarter inch thick in there, so we're going to go after that. And a couple of the other key pointers. Do not defrost the appliance with other electric devices, hair dryer, etc. And never scrape the ice or frost with sharp tools. So keep that in mind. Leave the freezer door open to allow accumulated ice and frost to melt. Remove large pieces of ice as needed. After defrosting, remove the accumulated ice and water and wipe the freezer compartment dry with a soft cloth. Restart the unit per starting instructions. You're supposed to start it by turning it to seven and then after 20 minutes, you move it down to four and four is the normal running temperature. You're watching DIY Nate. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to tell me about your project in the comments. We're showing how to defrost manually a Igloo mini cooler. Now mine is a model FR320. This also works for model IRF32. So basically the instructions tell us that we need to unplug it. We need to put some towels in there, take the drawers out, let it thaw completely, and then take the ice out. In my situation, I've got a pretty hefty buildup. It says once it gets past a quarter inch, that's when you should be thawed. And so I think I was running mine on the setting seven which is about as high as it goes. And that's why I built up a lot of it. Now I've adjusted that setting down to four, um, but I do need to de-ice it, de-thaw it. So I'm gonna unplug this, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna take that big glacier of ice out. We'll put some towels in there so it will defrost. The other point about this too is this refrigerator requires manual defrosting. Sometimes the instructions might imply that there's a drain and it will automatically handle that, kind of an automatic defrost. This fridge and a lot of other mini fridges don't automatically defrost. So check your manual for that or specifications, but certainly this model that I'm working with does not have the drain uh, that's needed to do that kind of defrosting. That's more common in a regular refrigerator with a regular freezer. So with that, let's get to it. And as you can see, got a huge thing of ice up there. So I got a lot of keystones in there, my favorite pool drinking beer. And I really need to make sure I'm not burning too much electricity using this. So we're gonna take a look up here at the setting. It's set all the way to number seven, which is the coldest setting. And that is not recommended by the manufacturer. They actually recommend using a four. So we're gonna go ahead and dial that down. What I am a little concerned about though, is with the amount of ice I've got built up in there, I really need to make sure that it doesn't pour water onto my floor and cause me problems there. So I'm gonna put a towel inside and see if I can catch any of the runover. And then I'm gonna set an alarm and come back every hour or so and just see how it's coming. And hopefully I can take this out pull the whole piece out and move on from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the crank here down to zero. There we go, it's on zero. And then I'm gonna take a beach towel and layer that in here. Here, I'm putting a beach towel on the top shelf and I'm also gonna put one on the bottom so that any runoff will get caught before it hits my floor. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave this refrigerator door open and put that drip. And my hope is, as this starts freeing up, I should be able to pull some big chunks of ice out and remove it. I'm just gonna let nature do its work here and ice melts and just try not to damage my floor when the water starts pouring out. Probably good to have a bucket or something that you can put your ice into as you finish up. So. All right, we're looking at it about an hour after opening up the freezer. You can see it's starting to melt away here. And I'm hoping I'm gonna have some big chunks to pull out. Not just yet, not quite ready for that. And we're gonna check our towel for saturation as well. Pretty good shape here, the bottom towel. So I'm not quite wet yet. Hoping this whole big chunk will just break off at some point, but I think we're a ways away from that happening. So. All right, so here we are after another hour or so, and it's starting to thaw out a little bit. Lots of water coming out of this thing. 
and still not able to get this thing to, oh, there we go. Perfect. So now the whole piece is going to come out of here in one solid lump, just like I wanted. That whole section is ready to come on out. Set that in my plastic bag down here so it doesn't drip anywhere. Now, all I got to do is wait for the rest of this stuff to kind of pop out of there. I've got a little bit more to go on here. You hear that water running down? I'm almost able to get this bottom piece out. Still got enough lace in there that it's hard to separate this whole lot. There we go. Now the base is coming out of there, one big chunk. So I'm just going to dump this water right back to these towels here. Again, it's a lot of water, but the towels soak that up nicely. Now we're back to normal. Wipe it out. I've still got this towel down here. It's nice and dry. So I'm going to use this one. Really wipe out the back here. Probably wipe off these shelves a little bit. Certainly up here at the top freezer section before I turn it back on. I'm gonna make sure I give it a good wipe down, make sure that it doesn't just stir it back up and ice up again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to a four. It says you can go ahead and turn it to a seven, but I don't think there's any sense in jacking it all the way up to a seven. That's part of the reason it was frozen to begin with. Purge it back in action. I'm gonna pull this, this uh, door down now. I think I'm ready to roll. All right, as you can see, it's, it's nice and cold in there and our freezer has de-iced very well and we are in good shape all right we're just checking back in a couple weeks after having defrost our fridge and you can see it's still running nice and neat here there's not much heavy buildup. you can kind of see throughout the back here there's very little ice cool enough it's on the setting four right now so we're in good shape on that and we are back up and running and the drinks are nice and cold in the fridge and you know we're in good shape there so. all right you've been watching diy nate we got some big ice chunks out of our refrigerator so we're left with taking out these chunks of ice this one's still got my whiskey stones attached to it so at the end of the day basically let it thaw and then pull out those big chunks of ice before it drips everywhere you can get them in the large chunks you're good to go i'm gonna take this thing right here boom there we go and i got my whiskey stones back ready the ice and we're good to go so just some pointers there hope that works out for you hope you enjoy this video don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'd love to have you back on my channel. I'll have a lot of other helpful pointers. Thanks for watching DIY Nate. Have a great day.